Richmond Community College greatly, greatly appreciates the funding that supported this project. The funding allowed us to upgrade our existing modular assembly system by replacing part of the system with a new Yaskawa Motoman electric robot. The Yaskawa Electric Company is a worldwide leader in mechatronics and robotics. This project significantly enhances our ability to teach robotics to students in mechatronics and computer engineering. In addition, this upgrade will help us market and promote our programs in order to encourage high school graduates to pursue STEM-related careers. The system can also be used to retrain our local existing labor force. This system gives our students an opportunity to work with a highly automated manufacturing system that implements an assembly operation. Operating faster and with more precision than humans, assembly robots perform highly repetitive tasks, freeing employees to work on other tasks that are less tedious and often safer. This system will be used to teach students how to integrate an electric robot into an automated manufacturing system. More specifically, it will be used to teach robot programming, programmable logic controller programming, electrical wiring, applied pneumatics, robot gripper design, industrial networks, in this case Ethernet, and how to troubleshoot an automated manufacturing system. With respect to the demonstration, the system consists of the new electric robot and its associated controller and five Allen Bradley programmable logic controllers. The system will assemble a simple turning mechanism which includes the following components a body, a bearing, a shaft, and a white plastic cover. The robot will assemble the bearing shaft and cover into the body in the proper sequence. But before the robot performs the assembly operation, new parts are loaded as follows. The body supply station will load a new body, the bearing station will load a new bearing, the shaft insertion station will load a new shaft, and finally, the cover positioning station will load a new cover. Now that all the components are in place, the robot will complete the assembly. Notice how the robot uses different grippers to accomplish the task. The robot's dealing with three different parts that, are, that are, have different sizes and shapes. Also, for safety reasons, the robot's speed is set pretty low. In actual practice, the robot's speed would be set much higher. And also, what's very nice about this system is the instructor can manually insert faults in order to teach troubleshooting. After completing the assembly, the robot will then disassemble the product in the opposite order when commanded to do so. After the robot disassembles the product, each station returns its component to its original position. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration, and thank you so much for supporting Richmond Community College.